doing a video today of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and we're going to do some benchmarks. No one's requested them because no one cares about my channel. Boo hoo. But I'm going to do some anyway. Right. I've got some installed in this folder here. I'm going to do Quadrant, Limpack, N22, CF Bench, Smart Bench. Uh, that's Root Check. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the browser benchmark and we're going to do GPS status as well to see how fast that goes. So we're going to go for Quadrant first of all. Let's run. Right, the problem is with um, Quadrant is it hasn't been optimised first of all for dual core and it doesn't really work with ice cream sandwich. So you're going to see quite low scores here. Let's just get this in focus. frames per second are we running? Can't really see. A little bit choppy there for some reason. The moon's going through for some strange reason. Click yes. Oh what a fail that was. I've got to send Wi Fi on. We try again. And we'll run it again. Right. Second time lucky. Also, Limpack, when we run that, probably isn't going to be very good score either because also not optimised for dual core or ICS um, and 2.2 has been so that should be quite a good score hopefully I'm running stock at the moment it is unlocked bootloader and it has been rooted as well but it's not overclocked nothing like that everything's as, as it is in stock Android 4.1 4.0.1 sorry so we'll let this run should be seeing scores round about 1,900 is what I've seen before, maybe 2,000 just about, but nothing very good really. But uh -huh. we'll see. Let's try that again. And oh, not too bad actually. Another look. Let me focus. You see that. I decided to do this video in manual focus so that it doesn't make that stupid bloody noise like before. Anyway, it was 2,108 is what we got. Let's get this back into focus. There we go. 2,108, not great. Let's go for Limpack. We're going to do three runs on single th single thread and three runs on multi thread. There we go. First run on single, 45.047. Second run. 46113, third run, 45961. So let's go to multi thread first run, 74139, second run is 77299, and third run 7845. So not too bad. Working at these, let's run and 2 This might take quite a while because, as we know, and 2 is quite an intensive test so we'll go start the test and while that is running I'll give you my first impressions of the device so far um, start off on battery life battery life it's been up and down really it's one of those for some reason like this like last night I kept it on charge fully overnight from about half eleven in the evening until nine o'clock in the morning half eight in the morning and um, up to a hundred percent took off the charger Watched, uh, I think I watched a video on YouTube on, over Wi-Fi, it was about a three minute video 
didn't download any emails, didn't do anything else, and it had already lost like 18%, which I was not very happy with really. On the whole, during the day, battery life is quite good. When you're using Wi-Fi, it is, it's not that great to be honest, but I've got a spare battery for it anyway, so if it ever does die on me, just quickly swap that one out. Um, let me talk about the screen briefly. Let me try and focus this up. It's, it's, it's a brilliant screen, I really like this screen. The only thing I'd say that is a bit disappointing about it is the colour reproduction of white. I mean, if you go to something like, hopefully leaving this won't quit it. Should be playing in the background still. Yes it is. So we'll go to something like browser. And you can, let me just go to a, that's on full brightness. And it is it's quite yellow really, it's not really white, it's more yellow. It hasn't got that blue hinge to it that AMOLED displays of past had, but it's it's slightly yellow. Blacks are really black. You look at the bottom keys here, they're completely black. That's why I decided to do this video in the dark, because it's a bit easier to see Super AMOLED screens when it's dark. Just going into the multitasking. Go back into one two to see how that's going. Let that continue there. Um, what else can we talk about? Yeah. You guys need to start sharing my videos if you don't mind. I only mean, got 500, 700, well, about 750 views on my Nexus video. I want a few more than that, guys. Come on. Please. Anyway, that was my little plug there. We're getting 58.7 frames per second on this animation here, which is actually really good. The GPU on this is actually quite good. It's better than the Samsung Galaxy Note, which uses the Mali 400 GPU, which everyone says is the best GPU out there at the moment, and it gets a higher frames per second on this benchmark anyway. No, no fun fact for you there. Not very fun at all though, was it? Anyway, this should be done soon. We're nearly there, we're on 85%. This is probably going to be a ridiculously long video, and most of it's just me rambling on. Oh dear. Scroll up, bring this up to here. Come on, focus. There we go. So, RAM, we've gone 1033, CPU integer 1660, CPU float point 1289, 2D graphics 247, 3D graphics a very high score 1236, database IO is 360, SD card write speed 8.1 megabytes. Hey, hang on. I don't even know what I'm reading there. Anyway, CPU frequency 1200, 1.2 GHz, as we all know. And the final score, 6098. So let's have a look at the score chart. So it stacks up my device. Oh, slightly better than the Galaxy Nexus. Interesting. Better than the Galaxy S2, LG Optimus 2X. Might want to zoom. Obviously, not the Asus Transformer Prime, which is a quad core. I'm not going to beat that anytime soon. Yeah, I'm rushing really on this video because I am going out soon. I know it's amazing. I actually have a life. You wouldn't think it, would you? Let's run the benchmark. It's not a very good life. I'm just going to the pub. I know. Anyway, CF bench. Now I haven't run this before, but apparently it's a good benchmarking app. So we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm not sure how long this one takes. Obviously, it shouldn't be as long as Antutu is because that's the longest one out there, isn't it? Or is it? See, if I was any good on computers and editing videos, 
all of this crap that you've been hearing, I would have edited straight out and it would have just been the benchmarks. I just hit the camera. It would have just been the benchmarks. But because I am, for one, I'm lazy and I can't be asked to learn how to do all this software video editing. And two, I can't afford to buy a decent package. And that sounded very weird, didn't it? Not an innuendo at all. I know what you're thinking. A decent um, program, anyway, is what I should say. Anyway. <laughs> so, what you not been up to then? Just making a bit of small talk. Nothing else to do. Just sat here waiting for this bloody thing to load up. On a side note, I brought Battlefield 3 today. It's crap. So I've got Modern Warfare 3, I thought, yeah, I'll give this a go, see how it is. Apparently it's not a lot of people are saying it's better than Modern Warfare 3. I thought I'll give it a quick go. Maybe maybe I'm just not very good at these kind of games, but I don't like it. It's very strange. Couldn't even get past the first bloody mission on the campaign. Kept getting killed by a sniper. Bloody house is taking bloody ages, isn't it? It's already a, nearly a 12 minute video of just me talking absolute shite. <laughs> right. There we go. We are finished. And I'll run you through what it has. So it does the, shows you all the product name, brand, manufacture, build release, etc. cores, megahertz, and um, then it goes on to some Java stuff, some native memory, Java efficiency, overall score, and let's, there you go, overall score. Yeah, I don't know what that means, <laughs> to be honest. So is that good? Well, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Galaxy S2, isn't it? Well, the green bar is. I don't know what the green bar means. But the green bar is better than the Galaxy S2. The red bar is a bit less and the blue is a little bit less. But I don't really know what that means. So, yeah, I'll take that. That's quite good. Next, we're going to go on to GPS status, which is just to see how good the GP how, how quick we can get a GPS fix on this. It would help if I had GPS on, wouldn't it? I am awful at this video lag, am I? Alright, so we're gonna zoom in a bit. See how many we get. One satellite now. Zero out of two. See the compass works. I'm fed up with that. Skip that one. I'm going to Smart Bench 2011. Oh dear. This has happened with a few apps actually. This happened on um, Fruit Ninja as well. It's just done this, and Tapper Talk stopped working for me as well, which is a bit of a, a bumder. But yeah, it just does this. It goes up in, a, in this little corner and just won't open. Let's try it again. Yeah, very odd. I think it must be something to do that they're not ice cream sandwich compatible. Or my Nexus is just buggered already. Either way, not fun. Anyway, that was an awful video. If you stuck it out all the way to now, you deserve a medal. I'm bored myself. Right. Ta da. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do a quick set. Actually, I'm going to carry on rambling, hang on, bear with me. I'm going to get the Sensation XL soon. Well, I've got it already, but I've got my brother using it at the minute, so wait until he relinquishes it to me. I'm going to do a comparison video, do some camera tests on it, speed tests, obviously the single core and the Sensation XL, see how that matches up. And, uh, yeah, 
Giggity, 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 goo. See you later.